A quick tutorial today on how to scan with some of the new Canon multifunction devices. If you look under the scanner lid, you'll notice there's a, a couple of tabs underneath that you can use to remove the white transparent background under the lid. When you take this thing off, what you'll notice behind it is the hidden scanner mechanism. There's actually a tray that you use to mount your film and or slides for scanning. And if you remove this from the top of the back plate, you'll see there's an insert to put in film. That's the darker insert in the middle. And for today's tutorial, we're going to scan some slides. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the tray that does the film scanning and put that aside because we're not going to use that uh, today. We're just going to use the gray part of the scanning tray to scan slides. And this has a couple of different 2x2 two two inch locations to hold the slides. So what you do is you drop this on the top of your scanner bed and there's a little tab with a, a hole and a pin that lines it up, registration pin, just make sure that's lined up on both sides. And you put that in and then you grab your slide. Uh, make sure that you blow off any dust because those dust particles will look huge in the scan. Drop in your picture, in this case I have a classic Kodachrome slide that I'm going to mount. Close the lid and then go into the Canon MP Navigator software and go ahead and click on Film and you can do a scan directly from here or you can click open the scanner driver which I prefer because it gives you more options and once you're in the scanner driver you can select the resolution and a bunch of different things but first of all take a preview to see what you get and in this case I've already scanned it before but I'm going to do it one more time just to demonstrate and it will do a quick low resolution scan to show us what we have there is the slide and then we'll go ahead and scan at 2400. Uh, there's no need to scan at any higher resolution than that because although the scanner is claimed to do 4800 uh, DPI, it doesn't really get anywhere close to that. So we're going to go ahead and scan at 2400 and use unsharp mask because we'll need that even at 2400. The scans aren't particularly sharp. So when we turn that on, we'll get a reasonably good resolution. Comparing this to my older scanner that had an optical resolution of 1200, it's really not much better. Maybe slightly more resolution. I think somebody did a test and came up with around 1600 uh, for the effective resolution. So it's nowhere near the 4800 by 9600 claimed uh, for this particular model, which is the MG8. 220, which may be the last multifunction device to scan film and slides. Um, the older ones were similar, but it does a reasonably good job, and the scanning speed is decent. We're running at fairly high resolution, and the scan is only taking about a minute here. So it's actually a pretty decent scanner, and with the LED lighting, is fairly consistent in terms of color output. So you actually get a decent result out of the scanner, which we'll see here in just a few more seconds. There we go. And it pops up. You can do another scan if you want to, but we're going to dismiss that. And at the bottom, it shows you your scans up till now. We only have one. And we'll select this one. And then we can actually save the full file. And you have some options here, TIFF or JPEG. We'll do a TIFF since we want full resolution and give it a file name and your scan is complete. So it is literally that simple, though you can use third-party scanning software like ViewScan if you prefer, um, but the Canon software does a reasonable job. So let's have a look at our final picture. You can see it's very nice, good color, good resolution. So uh, not much uh, to be desired. If you've enjoyed today's lesson, click the like button, or even better, add this video to your favorites for others to discover. And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out when the next episode is released. Thanks for your support.